According to the World Happiness Report, which was commissioned by the UN organization Sustainable Development Solution Network, Norway is the country with the happiest population in the world. It leads not only in the Happy Planet Index rating, the country also occupied the first lines in the prestigious Prosperity Index rating from the British Legatum Institute. Also, Norway often leads the ranking of countries in the world by the level of development from the UN, which indicates one of the highest levels of education and and literacy. More than 80% of the adult population has a higher education. Local kindergartens encourage meals and a quiet hour in the fresh air. In high school, only 50% of students take exams. For those school graduates who have not yet decided on their future profession, there are their own educational institutions that help to get the necessary skills in a particular field. There are also no entrance exams at Norwegian universities, so local school children are also the happiest. In this episode, We'll analyze five facts about education in the country with the happiest population in the world. Kindergartens – Ordinary and quite not Children start going to kindergarten in Norway from the age of one. They don't come there all at once but in turn gradually so that the educator can take responsibility for the adaptation of a new child and give him enough attention. Nutrition in kindergartens in Norway, as in many other European countries, is quite different from what we know in CIS. There are no soups and porridges familiar to us here. Parents give their children the so-called mat pocky. Boxes with lunch, which include sandwiches, yogurt, juice, and cookies. Often, lunch takes place outside in the fresh air, and since a lot of attention is paid to sorting garbage in the country, kids are taught from an early age to throw out garbage correctly. In Norway and Scandinavian countries in general, they spend a lot of time walking in the fresh air. In warm and good weather, children have a quiet hour on the street. In general, Norwegian kindergartens differ little from other European ones, therefore, we'll not stop at ordinary preschool in institutions, but let's talk about those kindergartens that attract attention. One state kindergarten in Oslo has gained particular popularity. Fogerborg, built according to the project of the Norwegian architectural studio RRA. On the outside, at first it may seem that this is an upside-down house. It is believed that such an unusual structure stimulates the creative development of its pupils. The city of Tromsø also has its own unusual kindergarten. When the authorities announced a competition for the creation of new preschool institutions, they did not impose strict requirements on design, style, and format. Now, kindergartens in Norwegian Tromsø has a whole bunch of mazes with tunnels in bright colors. There are no doors in them. The rooms are separated by round holes in the walls of different sizes, and some of the walls can even be moved. Thus, the contrast change of the situation does not let children get bored and makes them constantly generate new ideas and games. Economics in elementary school, lottery exam in high school. Norwegians go to school from the age of six. At this time, children are taught not only to write, count, and read, but also to get acquainted with the plant and animal world. And they also teach students to communicate not only in your native language but also in English. In addition to mathematics and the native language, religion and economics are also studied here. The progress of each student is monitored by a commission. If a child has problems, an individual plan is made for him to solve education educational problems. By the way, academic performance is discussed one-on-one -on -one with the child and the parents. In the secondary school, from grades 5 to 7, some new subjects are added for children, among which you can find home economics. Here, children learn to run a household as a whole, cook, engage in everyday life, learn competent budget planning. High school starts from the 8th grade. Profile subjects are already being added here. After graduation, they do not take any final exams. More precisely, they pass, but it all depends on luck. There is a so-called examination secretariat of Norway, which selects students who will take the exam blindly. Whether the student will have to take the exam or not, he himself will find out two days before it. The exam can be assigned to one or two of the following subjects – computer science, mathematics, economics, English, Norwegian, or some specialized subject. Folk schools. When a student finishes school but does not yet know what he would like to do next, he can enroll in the so-called folk school. There are about 80 such educational institutions in the country, and they are located mainly outside a city. Each such school has its own specialization, and within a year or a little more, students acquire specific skills here. 
folk schools do not give uh, the right to work, but they give an advantage when entering a university. For the first time, such schools appeared in the middle of the 19th century and gradually became widespread in Western European countries and especially in Scandinavian ones. These were adult schools that stipulated constant interaction between students and teachers and helped the youth to get to know themselves and their strengths better. The idea and concept of folk schools belongs to the philosopher Nikolai Grundtvig from Denmark. Folk schools offer programs in both academic disciplines, including linguistics, philosophy, computer science, and creative, theater, photography, art. There are also professional programs for future journalists, medical professionals, fitness instructors. After graduating from such a school, exams aren't passed either. But each graduate receives a certificate of graduation from the institution with a list of disciplines that he passed. The best Norwegian universities. The University of Oslo is the oldest university in Norway, founded in 1811 as the Royal Frederick University. It is the leading university in Scandinavia. Five Nobel Prize laureates have worked at the university. Fridge Jeff Nansen, Peace Prize, Ragnar Frisch, Prize in Economics, Odd Hassel in Chemistry, Ivor Jaeger in Physics, Tryve Hovelmo in Economics, Ragnar Tornquist, a developer of computer games Dreamfall, The Longest Journey, also studied here. The Norwegian University of Natural and Technical Sciences is the center of technical and engineering education in the country. Among the famous graduates are Nobel Prize winner in Chemistry Lars Onsager, writer Ernst Junger. The University of Bergen is the center second founded university in the country. It was created in 1946. The university also has several research centers. The Bjorknes Center – Research in Climatology. It is a science that studies climate. Center for the Study of the Middle Ages, Center for Biological Researches. Education in Norwegian universities lasts from three and a half to four years. If a student is studying to be a doctor, lawyer, economist, or engineer, then his studying will last from four and a half to six years. There are no exams for admission to Norwegian university. In order to become a student, it is enough to present a school certificate with grades and bypass other applicants in the competition. Norwegian universities are willing to accept students from abroad as students from more than 10,000 foreign citizens in Norwegian higher education institutions. If you consider Norway as a place of study, but you cannot decide on a university or a program, you can contact our specialists at smaps.com, who will be happy to help you and share a piece of advice. The system of education in Norwegian universities in the CIS countries we are used to getting grades from 2 to 5 for the exam. In Norway, there is a six-point rating system, which is expressed in letters from A to E, where A is the highest score and F is the lowest. There are also some subjects that are organized as a set of. The education system in Norwegian universities is more like Russian than the European one. In many universities in Europe there is almost no chance of being expelled. Failed subjects are automatically transferred to the next year. In Norway, as in Russia, there are three attempts for each exam. If a student fails at the third attempt, he also has the option of rescheduling the exam for the next year. Admission to the exam is granted only if the student has attended at least 20% of classes. Therefore, it cannot be said that visiting here is strictly mandatory, but still you will have to attend a certain number of lectures. There were your five facts about education in Norway. If there is a country that you'd like to know more about, write about it in the comments. In the description of the video, find some useful links, including our social networks. And don't forget to smash that like button, this helps to develop our channel.